Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another collection video, yeah, African collection video. And I realized then I have shown you almost all of my African shirts, there are only four that I have not made a video of yet. And yeah, maybe by the end of this AFCON we have looked at all of them. I'm wearing one of the more spectacular ones and I'm gonna show you what I consider as one of the most infamous shirts or famous shirts ever released which is the 2002 Cameroon home jersey of course the West uh, uh, jersey now um, before we go into the details of this shirt this is one that has been on this used uh, page hanging around for quite a while I saw it I think very early on in I think I want to say I started looking at this page in 2019 and it was there. Um, the only reason why I did not pounce it because it was an M. But I think it cost all of, I want to say seven, but it could have been just five euros. Um, and I think the only reason why I didn't get, go, go over it because it was an M. And then I said, come on, uh, this is 2002. Things were a little bit um, looser back then. Uh, ask whether they will ship it. They, uh, they they did and said, okay, let's get an M because this is a jersey that is just too famous to pass on. You can already see it is rather tiny. Um, I also have to say when I pulled it on, yes, it has a very modern fit, meaning it's very, 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 very tight when it was intended to be a little bit looser. But, you know, I'm XL, this is M, this is what you would expect. I uh, Also, like I say, I think the, f the price is fair in so far as there are a considerable amount of poles here on the front. Uh, the tag here is a little bit washed out. Yeah, it's not in the greatest of conditions. There's even, uh, you know, another thread there. But for five bucks and having this famous shirt, I'm more than uh, happy to have gotten it. Um, I actually find it in many ways quite pleasing how, you know, I love flag trim. Do I wish that this would go all the way? Yes, I probably do, but you know, it, it looks really, really, really nice. I uh, also like that it's the old style lion that they also or, already had for the 1990 working Pro, probably before, which is kind of this content lion, and now they have the more aggressive one. But you know, I really, really li like it, although I probably think that the nose is a little bit too thick to my liking. I also think that the old crest of the Cameroon Federation actually looks uh, quite, oops, the light is getting in the way, it looks ag ag actually a little, a little bit nice, I like, I like this triangular style, now they have, you know, I uh, uh, have Cam Cameroon there, it's kind of this shield, but I actually do like this a teeny bit better, the um, Puma Cat is kind of a felt logo, and then uh, the interesting part is the ventilation patch, which is basically here, and it extends back on the sleeves a little bit, but other than that, it's a rather plain, it's a, it's a surprisingly thick material, I have to, have, have to say. It's also a little bit doubled up here. Now, uh, of course, they won the AFCON in 2000, wearing this one in the final against Senegal. Um, I actually didn't plan it this way, but that's the way it happened. Um, I think it was on penalties. Uh, so it's, in that sense, also a famous jersey. And then at the World Cup, uh, FIFA really had a problem with it because uh, they didn't like that they didn't have sleeves because for the first time they wanted to pull uh, the World Cup logo on the sleeves. Where do you pull it? So they had to attach those ridiculous black sleeves on there and, you know, they were even under penalty of FIFA. Um, this was the time where Puma really tried to push the envelope more than they do it now. And come out, yeah, we can have a vested shirt. We can have a onesie, which they came out in 2004, which uh, more or less knocked Cameron out of contention for the FIFA World Cup in 2006. Uh, it was reinstated, but I think there was so much tr uh, trouble then uh, that the team couldn't really make it anymore. But yeah, at the World Cup, yeah, many people had Cameron as a dark horse. They more or less disappointed, but they were wearing the... It was not even a full sleeve, it was just a black patch, I think, with a rubber band below where they had the FIFA World Cup logo on, which, to, to be honest, was a nice compromise. Yes, you could see it, but, you know, to, to the darker skin, you still had kind of the vested look, so I, I actually thought it was not the worst idea. And, in addition, uh, it also gives me excuse whenever, excuse whenever I wear this shirt um, 
on uh, for a video I usually have a black shirt under to mimic that look in a way so yeah it is one of the shirts that I I'm really proud to have uh, I'm, I'm uh, happy to have yes i wish it was in a slightly better con con condition but given that i look really 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 scary wearing this one <laughs> it is very tight on me and yeah uh, <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't look all that great when when, when i wear very very without all, all the black shirt um it is basically just a background feature for me and for that it is just it's great yes would love to have 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 an XL, but I don't think I will ever find it for seven bucks again. So yeah, that's uh, my the famous vested shirt. I even had an interesting name set. It was kind of a little bit brush stroke as far as far, far as I, I, I remember. So that was also. But yeah, two thousand two. It was a uh, was an interesting World Cup, and I think this was the most. Uh, infamous jersey out there but i definitely not the worst i do love this jersey because it's just a little bit different so i'll keep it on to you um how do you like this shirt uh do you have any memories attached to it um give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more i will talk to you soon bye i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.